the IPC representative has arrived. And I've called for Miss Sequay from the Skyfaring Commission to act as a notary. Uh, remember, this is a war of words. Uh, over to you. <laughs> Before we start, let's review the documents we have. The testimony of dock worker Ah Fung. Who has admitted to disrupting the normal operations of the dock in exchange for payments from the IPC? When the Arum Alley dock went up for public bid, the IPC won the bid using its interstellar trade resources and extensive capital. Then, the IPC leased the dock out to the Arum Alley Merchant Guild for management and operations. This contract can prove that the Merchant Guild has legitimate rights to operate the dock. We reached the required amount by the repayment date. This is the basis for our right to continue negotiations, and is a testament to the business viability of Arum Alley. Let's go. The notary from the Skyfaring Commission is already waiting for us. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I am here to preside over the leasing dispute between the IPC and the Arum Alley Merchant Guild. Is there anything left to dispute? I'll cut to the chase. The Merchant Guild should have removed itself from our room alley a long time ago. Couldn't the IPC choose a sane person to represent them? Huh? Say that a little louder. I can't quite hear you. I said the IPC should send someone else! Goodness, there's no need to shout, Little Miss Feisty. My ears are ringing. You should be saving your voice for your public apology. <clears throat> As the representative of the IPC, my presence in this negotiation is legal, reasonable, and sensible. Who do you plan on sending to the battlefield? A random cloud knight? That cowardly president who's afraid to even show their face? Or how about that kid who got dragged into this fiasco at the last minute, walking around like he owes someone 50 credits? That's enough, Representative Scott. Please state the IPC's side of the case. The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to Our Room Alley Merchant Guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. But the Merchant Guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in Aurum Alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. The Merchant Guild has never refused to work with any shops in Aurum Alley. Ah, never refused? Then let me ask you, how many shops are currently in your logistics network? There will be a lot more later. Later? How much later? For the Sienjo, does later mean 500 years? <laughs> Can the shop owners here wait that long? Uh, 10 years, 20 years. Psst. But the Merchant Guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in Aurum Alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to Our Room Alley Merchant Guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. Why couldn't the IPC operate the dock from the beginning? Oh, are you implying that the IPC was setting a trap for the Merchant Guild? You're saying the IPC leased the dock to the Merchant Guild, who mismanaged it, in order to destroy the Merchant Guild's credibility? That was definitely your plan all along. Ah, so you admit the Merchant Guild mismanaged the dock. <clears throat> this guy! The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to Our Room Alley Merchant Guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and develop. Take a look at this. Huh? What's this about? 
Get that off! The IPC specially leased for the, the inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the Owl Room Alley dock, which does not create any value at all, are clear evidence of poor management. Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what's the, the inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the Owl Room Alley dock? Which Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what the inefficient shipping and low... The dock has improved shipping efficiency, and transaction volume is increasing. Uh, you guys didn't think that this transaction volume would be enough, did you? The shopkeepers in Owl Room Alley aren't here to play house with you. We're all trying to turn a profit. The inefficient shipping, coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent, we believe the Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the dock and pay additional compensation. Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what's coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability? What makes you think we can't afford to pay the lease? If you have the necessary funds, coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability... The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to Our Room Alley Merchant Guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what's this? The IPC specially leased oper- Take a look at this. Huh? Uh, what's the, the IPC spec with the Merchant Guild refuse to cooperate with the major shops in our room alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. The inefficient ship, the IPC specially leased operations of the dock to our room alley Merchant Guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. But the Merchant Guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in our room alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. The inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the Owl Room Alley dock, which does not create any value at all, are clear evidence of poor management. The dock has improved shipping efficiency. Ah, you guys didn't think that this transaction volume would be enough. The shopkeepers in Owl Room Alley aren't here to play house with you. We're all trying to turn a profit. The inefficient sh coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent, we believe the Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the- What makes you think we can't afford to pay the lease? If you have the necessary funds, prove it. Coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent, we believe the Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating- We've already paid back the lease. These are the funds from Arum Alley Merchant Guild. The Guild has turned a profit and is able to pay back what it owes. What? You already paid back the lease? How? The documentation provided by Arum Alley Merchant Guild is true and credible. And according to the lease contract between the two parties, the Merchant Guild still holds the rights to operate the dock. Next order of business. The Merchant Guild has accused Representative Scott of secretly sabotaging dock operations. Do you have anything to say about that? Don't be so slanderous! Why would I stoop so low? What do the frequent accidents at this dock have to do with me? Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping operations. How could I possibly buy off a dock worker? The absurdity! We have the testimony of Arthur. This testimony is concrete proof that you instructed him to sabotage shipments. What? what? That little... Aren't the Sien Joe people always preaching about righteousness? Oh, I gave him all that money, and he sold me out in a heartbeat. Darn it! If the evidence presented is true, Mr. Scott, then this constitutes improper business practices and the Sky Faring Commission will conduct a follow-up investigation. How did this happen? How did the plan go awry? But don't forget about our bet. You have to apologize in front of everyone. What? Why should I apologize? 
Because you use dirty tricks to trample all over the honest work of others. An apology alone won't be enough to fix the damage. If it were, I'd make you do it a thousand times over. Consider yourself lucky it's just the once. <laughs> I hereby apologize to our Mally. to all the people of our room alley. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind. Wasn't there something about barking like a dog? Make him bark! That's Make right. him bark! That's right! Ugh, enough! Woof, 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 What a clown show. This arbitration is hereby resolved. Thanks to all of you, we managed to pull through the Doc's debt crisis. Worth every step, oh, we should take advantage of the momentum to upgrade the Arum Alley Dock and increase its transaction volume. I'm preparing to upgrade inventory and logistics planning. The previously idle Dock is now ready for use, so come see me when you have time. The Dock crisis is over for now. But the rejuvenation of Arum Alley has just begun. Thanks to your help, the lease was paid off and the dock capacity is increasing. I told the workers to clear out areas that weren't utilized and use them to store extra cargo. Now the dock can support collaboration with more businesses. Let's keep working together for the revival of Arum Alley. Solving merchants' problems and earning their trust. That's what any good merchant guild should do.
There's been an unexpected change in plans. I've received word that the President has ordered me to stop all upgrades to the dock immediately. There's no way he couldn't know. I'm also confused. I sent a message to Sushong, telling her to meet up at Oldie's Depot. I also have something I wish to discuss with the Merchant Guild, but I'll wait for you to finish. The President fully appreciates your efforts and knows what you want to ask. He believes that continuing to upgrade the dock, a strategy that is not fundamentally different from that of the IPC, will only destroy the unique character of Arum Alley. Arum Alley is a place brimming with personality, from the delicious food to the cultural antiques. Everything is built around visiting tourists and local residents, and that's what makes it such a special place. Based on historical data, continued development of the shipping operations will turn the area into a giant warehouse. The more the shipping capacity is increased, the less attractions there will be for visitors. Such an outcome is unacceptable for the shopkeepers and community of Arum Alley. Uh, historical data isn't my forte. You better be... Hmm. Very well. I believe it's my turn to speak. The Skyfaring Commission has received a joint request from several merchants concerning the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. Mr. President, the merchants would like you to resign as the president of the Guild. There has come a day that the merchants of Aramali have betrayed me. I won't give up the vision I've built for Aramali, let alone step down from my duties. Is that the President speaking? It is not my intention to interfere with the Merchant Guild's affairs. But as an old friend, I would like to remind you that Aramali only exists in the present not in the past. Madam Yukon, the present is always made from the past, is it not? I suggest that you make some concessions to appease the merchants. If you don't follow Ming Shi's plans for the dock, she will temporarily take over your position. Ming Shi, I would like to hear your thoughts. President, I hope you understand that I am in no way vying for power over Arum Alley. I have listened to the President's vision of prosperity since I was a child, and I want to work to achieve that vision. But currently, your ideas conflict with ours. I understand. I can accept Ming Shi temporarily taking over my duties. However, Ming Shi must make her decision public and win the approval of both myself and all the merchants. Since you have shown confidence, those terms should be acceptable to you. Yes. I'll do my best, President. You have to remember that even when you're acting in my place, a crisis is still imminent. You must earn at least the amount of the bidding deposit to even have a chance of thwarting off the IPC. Very well. Since the President has come to a decision, I will be in charge of calling a public meeting. Ming Shi, I have something for you. When you are all finished here, remember to come and see me. I heard from Shi Kuei that it was you who became a business advisor and assisted Arm Ali Merchant Guild in their dispute with the IPC. <laughs> How versatile. Is there anything you can't do?
The president is still a hero to Aram Ali. He helped it achieve prosperity. But a hero will not be embraced forever. I've seen the IPC's approach. They prioritize efficiency and a standard uniform business model across the galaxy. I warned them that their business model wouldn't work on the Xianzhou without adjustments. But the Merchant Guild's overly traditional mindset is a different obstacle. Let me put it bluntly. Aram Ali Merchant Guild has no chance of succeeding today. The IPC does have more capital on hand, but the review criteria are not solely focused on financial resources. My advice to you is to visit the shopkeeper, Mr. Xiao. He is the one who proposed the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. If you can get his support, you will definitely receive support from the other merchants. Thank you, Madam Yukong. I have business to attend to in the Palace of Astrum. The rest is up to you. Convince the old shopkeeper, and you may just become the new heroes of Aram Alley. something fixed we guarantee that your ingenium will be good as new of course if it's outworld or technology it'll depend on the world I'd appreciate it if you could state the reason for your visit today mr. Xiao I'm Ming Shi the secretary of the merchant guild we're here to talk about Ugh, forget it I support the IPC can you tell us why? Please leave. I don't recall. Let's leave for now. Wait. Please wait a moment. It sounded like my father was being a little difficult. I'm Xiaohan. People around here call me Little Master. If I'm not mistaken, you're the ones who made Representative Scott apologize in public. You stood up for Aram Ali with reason and integrity. I'm thankful to you. May I ask why you wanted to speak with my father? We need the support of the merchants for the dock. And we wanted to see if your father could join us. Hadn't my father already refused? We heard that Mr. Xiao proposed to reorganize the Merchant Guild, and we wanted to ask why. I see. I'll help you figure something out. Great! Uh, your father is a very tough nut to crack. The older generation of craftsmen can be rather set in their ways. Here, how about this? Why not join my father's shop as apprentices? My father is stern on the surface, but if he sees a capable apprentice and a sincere heart, he'll change his attitude. Well, it's better to beg forgiveness than ask permission. Let's just start you out and see what he says. So, it's decided? Let's get moving then. Father, my friends from the Merchant Guild want to be your apprentices. I'll go ahead and show them the ropes. Nonsense. I, I never said I needed more hands. Even if I did want to hire more people, I couldn't afford them. <clears throat> you know that better than I do. I can cover their salaries. Come on, it'd be rude to turn them away. Don't be ridiculous. A green hand like him won't be able to fix a thing. 
Plus, if he breaks our customer items in the process, <laughs> it'll be us taking the blame. If that's what you're worried about, just give him a little training. <laughs> that sounds like a yes to me. Let's get on with the job, shall we? Here's something from one of our regulars. Show him what you can do. bad <sighs> no <sighs> he's hard to impress I'll find you some more work oh, what did I do to deserve this just a reminder father fair work for fair pay over here see what you can do with this jade abacus don't just stand there father go teach your apprentice a thing or two Fine, I I give in. I know why you're here. Just please stop tinkering with my customers' items. I think we just made him surrender. Ask what you wanted to ask. Yes, he's an old friend. I see a lot of potential in the corporation's plan. But a certain old friend of mine lives in the past. Whatever vision he has, it won't come true. Issue? It's less about issues and more about stubbornness. Stubbornness is intrinsic to long life species. We walk a single path, do the same things, and talk to the same people for centuries. The mind can become insensitive to change. However, compared to the president, my stubbornness is nothing. Back in his day, our O'Malley was teeming with shuttling star skiffs and commercial arumatons. But then the Lafu departed again on the path of the hunt. Our business partners couldn't follow, so they stopped trading with us. The president does. He wants to bring the old times back. Shop owners like me know that's impossible. Therefore, I stand behind the IPC's plan. Our O'Malley will inevitably be replaced. But is your shop part of the future that the IPC promised? Uh, hard to say. Chances are I'll have to sell it. Not the easiest decision to make, but I won't regret it. The good days are behind us. We must accept that short life species will repurpose our lands and that night markets are destined to become shipping docks. We must come to terms with the fact that short life ambitions will reshape a world where things were thought to last forever. Mr. Xiao, why not try working with us? Ming Si is pushing for reforms within the guild. We are nothing like the president. R reforms? They made a lot of good points when arguing with the IPC at the dock. I do see possibilities for the guild to change. Mm, given the state of the guild, my money is on the IPC winning. But since I've accepted the worst-case scenario, our O'Malley ceasing to exist, I can't see why it hurts to endorse your idea and see how far it takes us. Thank you. Now that you have joined our revival project, I'm sure many others will follow. Hmm. That's settled then. I'm curious to see what comes of your plan. Now that Mr. Zhao is on board, his shop can be part of the logistics network we've been working on.
heading back to the dock for now. Thanks for all the hard work, by the way. Hope things work out just as smoothly down the line. Regardless of the IPC's wishes, positive change is neat. Solving merchants' problems and earning their trust. That's what any good merchant guild should do.
regardless of the IPCs with... People are grumbling about Psy Cranes making our jobs obsolete. Who oh, no...
Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Let's make it quick. Let's settle this. Stand still. Eternal slip. The dead returns! You impede me. Your end approaches. Say bye. <laughs> A blade knows me. This sword needs sharpening.
regardless of the IPC's wishes. Thanks to you and Sushong, Arumali's success is nearly a done deal. I have something to tell you. We achieved our revenue goal for this quarter. This is all thanks to you two. Not to mention the merchants of Arum Alley. The Merchant Guild promises that we will use the money where it the funds will be used for the overall repair and upgrade of the dock. Which means we won't be... <laughs> 